Hi guys, I'm Katie from How To Become. Welcome back to my videos for basic maths. The focus for this video is multiples and factors. Now before I get started, don't forget to subscribe for my whole range of basic maths videos. Please leave comments, share my video and give it a like. Okay, so what am I going to teach you? So I'm going to teach you what are multiples and what are factors. How to work out the lowest common multiple and how to work out the highest common factor. Okay, so what are multiples? So for this, it's best that you learn your times tables. So multiples basically means your times tables, okay? So that's why I'm telling you to make sure you know your times tables off by heart. So I've given you a quick grid for your multiplications, okay? So of course, you probably know all of these by now, but if you don't, this is just to recap and refresh your memory, okay? So, what are multiples? So, the best way to teach you is by example. So, the multiples of 3. So, think your 3 times tables. So, you've got 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 3 is 12, and so on. So the multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21 and so forth. Okay, So it's basically just recalling and reciting your 3 times tables. Let's take a look at another example. So the multiples of 8. So again, think your 8 times tables. So we've got 1 times 8 is 8. 2 times 8 is 16. 3 times 8 is 24, 4 times 8 is 32. So multiples of 8 are 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56 and so forth. Okay, so what are factors? Okay, so again you will also need to think your times tables. So factors are numbers that divide exactly into another number. So let me make this clearer with an example. So the factors of 12. So you need to find all the numbers that can be divided into 12. So we've got 1 times 12 is 12, 2 times 6 is 12, 3 times 4 is 12. So in ascending order, the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. Okay, Because all of these numbers can be divided into 12. So let's take a look at another example. So the factors of 60. So what numbers can be divided into 60? So we've got 1 times 60 is 60. 2 times 30 is 60. 3 times 20 is 60. 4 times 15 is 60. 5 times 12 is 60. And 6 times 10 is 60. So in ascending order, the factors of 60 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30 and 60. Okay, because all of these numbers can be divided into 60. Okay, so the lowest common multiple. So the lowest common multiple is the smallest number that is shared by two or more numbers. So let's use an example. So the lowest common multiple of 9 and 4. So first of all, you need to do the first few um, nine times tables. So I've gone up to 90 here. And again, you do it for the other number. So I've gone up to 40 for the four times table. And then you need to find a number that they both share, which is the smallest common multiple. So as you can see, both numbers have 36. And this is the lowest common multiple that both nine and four share. So the lowest common multiple of 9 is 9 and 4 is 36. So the highest common factor, so to work out the highest common factor, you need to work out the factors for each number and then work out which number appears for both, i.e. the highest common factor. So the highest common factor of 24 and 18. So here are your fa factors for 24. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 24. And for 18, we've got 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. 
So you need to find the highest common factor, okay? So as you can see, 6 occurs in both sets of numbers, and it's the highest common factor that both of these numbers share. So the highest common factor of 24 and 18 is 6. Okay, so hopefully now you have a better understanding of multiples and factors. For more practice questions, we have a fantastic guide on offer and can be purchased by clicking on the book cover as shown now. Don't forget to like and comment on the video. If you have any other math videos you would like me to do, leave me your suggestion and I'll add it to my to-do list. For more videos, click on the click here button and hover over the coloured rectangle boxes to be directed to one of my other short mathematical videos. That's it from me. Stay updated with a whole range of my basic math videos. I wish you the very best of luck and thank you for watching.